Hi, today we try to learn few concepts and its derivations and apply those concepts in the question. Important. First of one is B is the midpoint of side AD and C is the midpoint of side A. This is the one of the most important point in this. We are going to use this in our first concept. The first figure we have is ADE as a triangle. The second important thing is B and C are the midpoints of the respective sides. Third is line joining BC. So we can say by applying the midpoint theorem, we know BC is parallel to DE and BC is half of DE. We have worked in the midpoint theorem. Now we are going to work in the in-circle thing. ABC is a triangle. There is an in circle which touches the sides at X, N, and M. So remove the lower part. And we know side AB is C, side BC is A, the whole side, side AC is the complete is B. If we say this one is X, this would be X because point B is the tangential point and BM and BX are the tangent. For the point C, if this one is Y, this should be Y. If we say this one is Z, this should be Z. So we can say the complete perimeter is nothing but 2X plus 2Y plus 2Z is our perimeter. So we can say X plus Y plus Z is nothing but P by 2. And in geometry, we know perimeter by 2 is termed as semi-perimeter. So X plus Y plus Z is nothing but semi-perimeter. So by this we can say x is equal to s minus y plus z. And what is the value of y plus z? We can see y plus z is nothing but b. So we can say x is equal to semi-perimeter minus b. And what is this b? This x is starting from point b. So this is s minus b. If we work on a y, so we can say y is equal to s minus c. We are working on a c and c is the side ab and z is equal to s minus a, side a. So the second concept we are going to use if we have a triangle given and we have to find the bm, then bm is nothing but the semi-perimeter minus side b. Okay, this is the concept if we are working in a in circle of a triangle. So first you have to remember the mpt, second one is this thing. Okay. Now check the next concept. In the next concept, we have in circle inside a quadrature BCED. And the in circle is touching at four points Y, U, V, W. Remove the upper part and work in this quadrature. Again, I am saying this one is X. This should be X. If we are taking Y, this should be Y. If this one is Z, this should be Z. If this one is W, this would be W. If we add the opposite sides, BC plus DE. If we add opposite side, then we'll get X, Y, Z and W. That is nothing but X, Y, Z and W. If we add the opposite side, that is nothing but BD plus CE. We again get X, Y and Z and W. By seeing these two, we can say these two are the same. So it's nothing but BC plus DE is equal to BD plus CE. If there is an in circle inside a quadrature, then sum of opposite side is always same. So this is our third concept. The first one was MPT. Second one was S minus A or S minus B or S minus C. Third one is in circle in a quadrature opposite side sum is same now check the most important thing if we have triangle and two in circles one is in this triangle one is in this quadrature then what happens the first concept we i am going to write is 
AU is equal to AW because A is the tangential point to the circle. The bigger circle AU is a tangent, AW is a tangent. So these two are the same and this is nothing but the semi perimeter of the small triangle ABC. Okay, let's check. This is one of the most important thing that AU is equal to AW and this is semi perimeter. This question might come in an examination. If this one is a point A, so we can say this is S minus A. We can say MB is what S minus B. Okay. So AU is nothing but AM plus MB plus BU, which is nothing but AM is S minus A first concept S minus B first concept plus BU is nothing but BY tangent. This is the value of AU. Work on AW. The AW is AN plus NC plus CW. What is the value of AN is S minus A. So write S minus A and C that is the point C and tangent. So we can say S minus C write S minus C and what is CW? C is the tangential point to the bigger circle to it should be CY. That is our AW. If we say this is equation one equation two, if we add AU and AW, we will get AU plus AW is how many s 1 2 3 4 4 s and they are minus a minus b minus a minus c and by plus cy by plus cy is nothing but bc so if we add we are getting 4 s minus a minus b minus a minus c plus bc and this is nothing but 4s minus a minus b minus a minus c and what is the value of bc bc is plus a the side bc is the side a so cancel out so we have 4s minus a minus b minus c and this minus a minus b minus a is nothing but perimeter so minus 2s so 4s minus 2s is nothing but 2s and au plus AW is 2S. Okay, and we know AU and AW are the same. So we can say from this AU plus AU, we can write AW as AU is 2S. So 2AU is equal to 2S. So AU is equal to S. So this is our next outcome. This can be a question. In your examination so we have just checked few concepts the first was MPT second was the S minus A S minus B concept the third one was BC plus DE is equal to CE plus BD the fourth one is AU is equal to AW which is nothing but the semi perimeter let's check the last concept we are going to check the last concept and its proof if we have a such figure then we can say bx is equal to cy you can get this question in your examination if bx is 2 centimeters then what is the value of cy then bx is equal to cy now check how we have just seen au is equal to aw is nothing but the semi perimeter of triangle abc now we just need to prove how bx is equal to cy we can say bx the bx means tangent in the smaller circle is nothing but the bm and the first concept is it's nothing but s minus b so it's s minus b what is the value of s and b b is the side ac we can say b is the side ac minus what is s s is the side aw okay and what is the value of AW minus AC? AW 
minus AC is nothing but CW. AW minus AC is nothing but CW and CW is again a tangent to the bigger circle. So CW should be nothing but CY. Again a tangent. Okay. So we proved how it is equal. Okay. We have learned five concepts. Now it's time to use these concepts in our question. Here the first data is base D is equal to 12 centimeter. If D is 12 centimeter, then according to midpoint, this would be 6 centimeter. And there's an in circle in the quadrilateral BCED. So we can say the opposite side sum should be equal. Say this side is C, this side is B. So this one is C, this one is B. So the opposite side sum is B plus C is nothing but 12 plus 6 is 18. I hope it is clear the opposite side is some same. Now it's time to use xy equal to 1 centimeter. What is the value of xy? xy can we say the xy is equal to cy minus cx? That is cy minus cx. And we have seen what is the value of cy. The last concept was cy is nothing but bx. So we can replace it by bx minus cx. And x is the tangential point for the inner circle and we have the value bx and bx in the term of s is nothing but s minus b and cx in the term of s means semi perimeter of the smaller triangle is s minus c and what is the value of xy is nothing but 1 if we open the bracket so this 1 becomes s cancel out C minus B. After solving B plus C and equal to 18 and C minus B equal to 1, we have C is equal to 19 by 2 and B equal to 17 by 2. But in this question, we are finding AD. AD is nothing but complete 2C and AD is equal to 2c is equal to 19 centimeter and ae is nothing but 2b so the ae is twice of b is 17 centimeter and this is our answer if you have same question but data is different then just remember b plus c is the summation of opposite side if this one is 12 this one will be 6 that is nothing but 18 the first b plus c is 18 and C minus B is 1. This side is the C, the closure X, the X is closure to C. So this is C minus B. If X is closure to B, then this becomes B minus C. So the C minus B is the difference, is the X, Y. After solving these two equations, you will get C and B and you are looking for 2C or 2B. And this is your final answer. The main aim of making this concept video is to learn five concepts. MPT, this is S minus B concept. The second one is A to Y is nothing but the semi perimeter of the smaller triangle, which is again the equal. And the last and the most important is BX is equal to CY. If you have any doubt, feel free to ping me either on Facebook or in this video thread. Okay, thanks and happy learning.